The Biden administration has just announced a $3 billion plan for US-based EV battery manufacturing. And I've got to say, this is a definite step in the right direction. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking YouTube channel. Great to have you. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate what you do. Now, the Biden administration has made a massive push towards the eventual domestication of the electric vehicle supply chain in the United States. Within the past 48 hours, the administration announced it will launch a $3.16 billion plan to boost US-based EV battery manufacturing, a small part of a much larger push toward transitioning to EVs. Now, my personal concern is that the type of batteries they'll be manufacturing, and I do think that is going to be a significant problem when it comes to their competitiveness. But anyway, electric vehicle manufacturing has boosted Battery deployments this year are up 94% globally over the same quarter last year, which is a huge increase. But the US is working toward making more parts of the supply chain available in the US because well, almost all of it is just coming from China, some of it coming from South Korea, a little bit from Japan. Now, of course, it's not quite that simple, but you get the gist, right? As the Russian war against Ukraine launched earlier this year, as a result of the Russian war that was launched against Ukraine earlier this year, prices of nickel have gone through the roof. They're insane. And this has caused many automakers who use batteries with nickel in them, see how I just mentioned that point, to significantly increase their prices. Now, fortunately for Tesla, for example, more than 50% of their batteries don't use any nickel at all. They're lithium ion phosphate or LFP batteries. Additionally, supply chain bottlenecks, say Tesla Rati, have been prevalent in the automotive industry, among others as a whole since COVID-19 pandemic, since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Parts and materials coming from overseas are taking extended periods to make it to the US, pushing the need for domestic parts manufacturing. Finally, says Tesla Rati, the Biden administration announced that it would push money toward this initiative. The funding will support grants to build and develop battery and battery component manufacturing within the US, funded by President Biden's $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure law. The grants will help bring more battery manufacturing efforts to the country, boosting manufacturing efficiency and providing more jobs in the sector. Now, remember though, this could all be held up by a Democratic senator who opposes the bill, says that electric cars are not the future, electrification isn't necessarily a good thing, and he's all in on hydrogen because he owns a coal power plant and they hope to make hydrogen using coal energy. So, yeah. Don't know if this is going to be plain sailing. Hopefully it does get passed, though. These Made in America batteries are going to help reduce emissions and create opportunities across the country. White House National Climate Advisor Jenny McCarthy said earlier today in a call with, C with reporters from CNBC. Now, hopefully it happens because I agree with her. I agree with Jenny McCarthy. What she said is not political grandstanding. It's not bullshit. It's true. The government has also committed to EVs with specific goals for the sector and internal targets to replace a considerable number of vehicles within its fleet with electric powertrains. 50% of all vehicle sales should be electric by 2030. I think this is a massive understatement, but anyway, and 600,000 cars and trucks within the federal fleet will be EVs by 2035. Interestingly, right now, the US mail, the USPS mail system is being sued in America, right? Because they just signed a huge contract for new delivery vans, which will be looters. They'll all be in they all have engines, all of them. And it's baffling to the industry why they would have done that. So they're being sued, which is kind of nice to see. I'm not normally in favor of companies being sued, but this is cool. Now, the US is adopting EVs at the third best rate right now globally, trailing only China and Europe. However, only 4% of vehicles purchased last year in America were electric, according to Canalis, a market research firm. 
Positioning the US front and center and meeting the growing demand for advanced batteries is how we boost our competitiveness and electrify our transportation system, said Jennifer Granholm, US Secretary of Energy. President Biden's historic investment in battery production and recycling will give our domestic supply chain the jolt it needs to become more secure and less reliant on China. I mean, she didn't say that. She said, and less reliant on other nations. Strengthening our clean energy economy, creating good paying jobs, and decarbonizing the transportation sector. Now, I agree. I don't agree with everything the Biden administration has done or is doing. Uh, to be honest, I'm not an American. I don't vote. You know, it's neither here nor there for me, but I really do want them to get this bill through. This $1 trillion bill, America needs it. You need battery manufacturing, right? You guys need, what else do you need? You need subsidies for EVs. Yes, I know right now the demand is through the roof, so you think you don't need them. But right now, the truth is America is paying. They're basically giving money, right, to Japan, giving money to Europe, giving money to other countries to sell their EVs in America. That's what the 7,000 US tax credit is doing. Tesla doesn't get it. GM doesn't get it. Who does get it? Companies that don't make EVs in America. That doesn't make sense. The sooner they pass the bill, the better. Hopefully they pass this as well, because yes, America certainly needs batteries, but do they need lithium ternary batteries? What does that mean? Do they need General Motors Ultium batteries or Ford's batteries that they're making with SK Innovation? Well, yeah, they're good, but even better would be if these companies recognize the future of automotive batteries. For the most part, not all, but for the most part is LFP batteries, lithium ion phosphate. For numerous reasons that I've spoken of on the channel, don't send me messages and emails unless you've really done your research on this. And the way to do your research on this is to watch my videos about LFP batteries and how very soon, for example, their energy density will have almost caught up to ternary batteries, but they have a lot of advantages, including more importantly than anything else, Cost. Plus, I mean, they don't use cobalt or nickel. Big advantages. So, by administration, I think this call is the right one. Really good news. Hopefully, manufacturers start to build out LFP production in the US. By the way, for those of you saying, oh, they can't because there's Chinese patents, those patents have expired. So yes, they can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.